Hi everyone, we're the Aukis, and we'd like to discuss meaningful topics related to family. Today we're going to be talking about having good stewardship. Finding true prosperity really begins by being able to appreciate and take care of the daily small things uh, so that you can earn the ability or the, the qualification to be able to manage or take care of much larger things. One day, Suna came up to us and asked us if she could please have a pet bunny. And we thought about it as parents and we felt that it was a wonderful idea for Suna to have a pet that she can take care of and take responsibility for and love and, love and yeah, it sounded like, like a wonderful idea. We knew that it was going to take a lot of time and attention on her part, so we decided that although it's a great idea and we really want her to have a bunny, that she would have to earn our trust, that she would be able to responsibly take care of this bunny. Both Kenshu and I were like, well, you know, it, Suna, if your room is dirty, like, all the time and you're not taking care of your own things and how can you take care of a pet you know that's just going to make it more difficult but she kept on begging us please and i promise i'll do really good and we said well okay if you if you can be consistent for a long period of time with you know keeping your own chores done and you know keeping your your room tidy for say 50 days it's a pretty long period of time Hopefully good habits can be built and she can have a more consistent mindset. Um, for 50 days, if you can keep your room clean, then you can get a bunny. So she was so excited and I secretly wanted a pet in our house also. So I said, Suna, I'll, I'll also you know, keep the kitchen clean um, every day for 50 days. So we're in it together and we can help each other and support each other. She went through the 50, the 50 days of cleaning her room. We finally made it. And she was so excited and she felt so proud. She, she was so proud that she was able to do it. And she said, this is my bunny. You know, I'm really going to take good care of it. And she had so much more of a self-confidence. Right. Like I could do it and I'm so proud of myself. And, you know, and then now that, that she's done that, I feel like we can trust her a lot more with other things as well. Yeah, now she's asking for uh, the next step up, which is a dog. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> so the next thing that happened was uh, Sean. Sean Sha wanted a pet. Yeah, yeah. He really, really wanted a gecko. Ever since he I was mean, little, like five. <laughs> so Sean, our, our first son, and he was like, well, I want a pet too. And I'm like, okay, so you have to show us that you're also going to you know, prove to us that you're going to be responsible and prove to us right, that, that you are ready to mm -hmm. take on another life. To show that, he said that he would... Control himself, <laughs> his emotions. <laughs> he would not be disrespectful mm -hmm. towards his mom. Not that he's a bad kid or anything, but because he gets emotional sometimes, he may uh, he gets frustrated, he gets frustrated and he may scream at her in the moment. Sometimes he may just express his frustration. So, <laughs> Sean, if you're going to take care of, a, of, a, of another life, this, 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 this tiny little helpless life that's going to be at the mercy, <laughs> at of, your your complete, <laughs> of your complete mercy, at, at, at your complete mercy, you're going to have to show us that, uh, that you've got full um, grip over yourself so so that was his thing and he did it and he earned his gecko and it's very very cute to see him take care of his gecko when I teach my children about how important it is to be good stewards to take care of their pets their things not be wasteful, really be true masters over everything they're responsible for. It's not just because I want them to only uh, be prosperous in their future, but, but what, I, what I really want them to understand is that deep love that God put into everything He made for us and to reciprocate that love back, to share one 
analogy from my own experience, I created a simple, very simple rope swing in the backyard, right? And every time one of my children plays on it, it, it gives me this really sense of joy and just this pride welling up makes me think, wow, it was really worth making that swing <laughs> because I see how much they enjoy it. And I made that for them, right? So God must have the same feeling, same thought. When he sees his children playing with that precious little bunny that he created, wow, that makes it all worth it. I made that bunny for this child. Thanks everyone for watching. We really hope that you appreciated this video and that you can gain something meaningful that you can apply in your own family as well. Uh, if you know anyone that may appreciate this, please feel free to share with them. Uh, and uh, we hope to see you next time and take care. <laughs>